uh, or something is wrong with the trailer I always make sure that I send a message letting them know that something isn't working you know and so that sucks that these guys didn't do it but hey that's the way it goes out here we got all kinds of drivers out here nowadays some drivers just don't care they just figured well I dropped it there so it's going to be somebody else's problem right that's their attitude these days and it's sad to say that but that's the way it is but anyways we got ourselves a fantastic trip today if everything will go according to plan today then I can go pick up my uh, load here I got about half an hour to go and then we'll pick up our our load hopefully they'll load me right away and then we can uh, start making our way down over to British Columbia if they won't take that away from me either you know <laughs> yeah, yeah that's the way it goes I guess it's Friday but there is a good thing to the story and that is I'm kind of going uh, well they call it west of Toronto I always call it south because I'm heading towards the border right so I always call it south but they call, up here they call it going west to pick up my load and what the good part about it is I have to come back east I guess north in my opinion it's north but they call it east and in other words I have to come back towards Toronto and go through Toronto to go to British Columbia right so if that happens I'll be back in Toronto here probably in a couple of hours so that means I can stop back in and master stick yes now that's a good thing that's something that I would love to do so we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed and hopefully they load us right away so we can make our way back to Toronto so we can uh, be out of Toronto before the big rush hour traffic right but yeah that's the good part about today <laughs> I'm happy I'm happy about that that's for sure but anyways let's go over there and uh, hope for the best I guess alrighty ladies and gentlemen we have picked up our load yes it only took him about 15 20 minutes like they said that it's gonna take him that was fantastic so it's exactly 12 o'clock uh, right now and we are leaving and that's exactly what I was saying earlier that if they were to load me in about 15 20 minutes I should be out of here by 12 o'clock which is 1 o'clock Eastern time that was super fast Turn left on. no I just gotta figure out how to get back onto the uh, onto the highway here so let's see there we go I figured that out going out the same as I came in I just wasn't sure the GPS was uh, telling me here to turn left but it didn't look right Cedar Creek Road RR97 yeah sometimes it look, looks a little weird how you come in and out of places you know turn left on Cedar Creek Road RR97 yeah I thought I had made a right up here and I'm supposed to make a left well I guess that would make sense that I made a right eh <laughs> Yeah, I would think so. So, let's go see if we can get back on to the uh, 401. Should be pretty good traffic right now. Was nothing to be worried about there when I uh, got over here, so it should be good, right? There it is. Toronto. That's right. In 300 meters, take the entrance to the left on Highway 401 East, Toronto, McDonald Cartier Freeway. Yeah, we gotta make a left hand turn here to get on to the 401. Yeah, we got a heavy load, but uh, not too heavy, you know. I mean, we're only about 43,000 pounds. So if they add all the pallets and all that on top of that yet, uh, probably about 46,000 pounds so we should be okay with weight well maybe not even 46 I don't know if it would be but according to them what they said it's 
you know, 42.7 or something like that, but I say 43,000. But if they are not accurate, then I guess we're off. But he said they load this every week, and he loaded me exactly the way they do every week. So we should be good with weight, he said. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Canada, we are allowed to load more than 45 anyway, so shouldn't be too much of an issue for me with weight. But maybe I'll scale it yet. I don't know for sure, but we'll see. First, we're going to make our way to Toronto. Yes, that's right. I'm going to go over there to uh, the Husky. And what I'm going to try and do is... Uh, try and see if I can uh, get a grease job done over there at the truck stop and then uh, I'll go over there to Master Steak and have me a steak. That's the plan anyways. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, we have had us uh, another fantastic meal here at Master Steak. Now it's time to get out of here. And I uh, posted it on Facebook that I'm here and uh, I got Jason to uh, text me and he said he's in the Husky here and uh, so I text him back and uh, even tried to call him but he wouldn't respond to me so I was going to try and meet up with him but uh, I didn't want to waste a whole lot of time in here but he never would answer his phone or he texted me, said that he's at the Husky, but then I text him right back and he's not replying to me, so Turn that's left. fine. But, oh, here he is, here he is, now he's calling me. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we've been cruising along here for a good while now. Yeah, that's good. That's good news and it's starting to drizzle a little bit. I don't know why it's drizzling up here today, but yeah, I guess there's moisture in the air, it's gonna drizzle, right? But uh, yeah, we are back at uh, Highway 17 again, which we just took last week, only a week ago, but uh, you might get tired of it, maybe not, maybe yes, but uh, figured, well, we gotta record something, and uh, well, I don't know, maybe it uh, looks different, maybe it's not in the exact same spot that I'm recording again, right? Well, that could be but yeah we're only about 207 kilometers away from Sudbury Ontario that's right I'm not sure exactly how far we're going to go tonight but uh, I'm sort of thinking maybe I'll try and make it up to uh, South St. Marie tonight since they got the new Flying J up there maybe I'll give it a shot and see if I can get me a parking spot up there at the Flying J that would be awesome. But we are getting closer to uh, Prairie Sound, Ontario. That's where I spent the night uh, at the other day. When you saw me there in uh, Walmart there when I showed you all the big snow up there and all that. That's where I was at. But yeah, we're just cruising along here. Yeah, and. Uh, just finished talking to Trucker Jukebox. Yeah, he's up there in Oklahoma. Or he was just about to enter Oklahoma, he said. But remember, that's a week ago. That's seven days ago, and he said he's going to try and uh, get to a seven-day schedule now, too. So hopefully he can uh, follow up, follow through with that. I know I need it more now than ever because uh, now I won't have any internet in the United States anymore so well I do have internet on the phone but uh, you know what I mean like not really any internet on the Sprint system anymore so and I ain't, I ain't about to pay $140 for 20 gigs that ain't gonna happen so we're gonna cancel our contract and uh, 
we're not really a contract. I pay as they go anyway, so they want to go up to $140 a month just for 20 gigs, so I am not going to pay that. That is a given. That's a guarantee that I'm not going to be doing that. But anyways, we are going to attempt to see if we can find us a Rogers Steeler somewhere here in this week somewhere. And we're going to see if we can uh, get us a uh, Wi-Fi system through Rogers. I have already talked to them on the phone, so they got a pretty decent plan. So we're going to see if we can get that this week. Because uh, I'll be going up to British Columbia and I'll have to do a reset up there. So... Uh, so yeah, I might just uh, have to uh, get me that this week, otherwise I won't have any videos up here in the next couple of days, you know? Like by the time I get down there, I will be running out of videos that I have uploaded already so far, so we will need to have a Wi-Fi system, that's for sure. Yes sir, Bob. But anyways, let's give her here and uh, let's see how far we can make it tonight. My goal, like I said, is South St. Marie. But see if, let's see if we will actually be able to get up there. I feel pretty good. I had a good night's sleep. So uh, I might just make it. Well, good evening, good evening, everybody. Well, we are sitting here at a truck stop and as you can probably see, it has been raining, yeah. We are here in uh, Niran Center, Ontario, that's right. And another thing I wanna show you is that right there. We still, as of right now speaking, we got 3,898 kilometers to our delivery in Abbotsford, Vancouver. That's right, we're Abbotsford, Vancouver. Abbotsford, British Columbia BC some call it short BC so yeah we got a long ways to go so that's pretty much four full days worth of driving yeah so we got Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday I think Tuesday night we should be able to get there if nothing goes wrong but we'll see we'll see I'm gonna talk to dispatch tomorrow yeah, I'm gonna find out when the load actually needs to be there because uh, if they don't load don't need to be there in any rush or any hurry or anything like that then I may as well take a reset at home because uh, I know by the time I get up there to Abbotsford I will be very much out of hours pretty much out of hours because this week Wednesday as you remember I was just sitting there doing nothing pretty much. I only had that short trip there from uh, Mount Pre Pleasant. I can't say Pleasant. I think Pleasant, uh, Iowa, up to Cedar Rapids, Iowa, right? So I didn't uh, didn't have a whole lot of driving time that day. So whatever, like on the on the fallback hours is whatever I did that day. Well, I will get those hours back on the following Wednesday for in Canada, right? So, because I didn't do a whole lot of driving, I won't be driving anywhere on Wednesday. So, I pretty much will have to sit on Wednesday and do a reset. So, uh, if I don't do a reset at home. Now, if I do a reset at home, I'll be good to go, right? But, uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's the way it's looking right now. I'm going to talk to them and see what they say when the load actually needs to be there. Because on the satellite, it says it only needs to be there on the 2nd of March. Which is like, uh, well, almost two weeks from today. <laughs> yeah, because today is the 19th, actually. So that's uh, it's about uh, two and a half weeks or one and a half weeks or so, yeah. I don't want to sit there that long to deliver the load. Well, I would never do that anyway. So I would just probably drop the trailer at the terminal in uh, Surrey, BC, but... Uh, but yeah, anyways, we had a shower up here. I had to pay for it because I didn't fuel up over here. But uh, that's okay. It was due. I was due for a shower, and so we took a shower. That's right. 
went and added the, the videos together for you at least I was uh, two days behind already so well but this video today would be three days already so figure I get working on them tonight and that way if I do spend a few hours at home hopefully I get at least one or two or maybe three videos uploaded by the time I leave so that would be fantastic if I could do that but uh, we got to get to bed because I want to get up as soon as I possibly can and have me a long day tomorrow that way I can get home uh, Sunday a little earlier and that would allow me to spend a few extra hours maybe with the family so if I do need to deliver the load ASAP so if not then we'll just take a reset at home but other than that we'll find out tomorrow right so with that being said give me a good fat thumbs up everybody share that video hey because that will help me out hit that subscribe button in the corner right there if you're not subscribed because you will be notified as soon as I upload a new video which is generally every day scheduling uh, happens every day at 2 a.m. Central Standard Time and I am seven days behind so thanks everybody for watching and let's keep on sharing those videos and we'll be back tomorrow <laughs>